Hey everyone, Excalibur here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clear all sea lands, what are the guides, and what heroes you can use as minimal as possible. And yeah, let's let's just go over the basics. <coughs> so in sea land, you will face a lot of bosses and their minions. So these have classes. So in order to get this easier, you need to have um, the max tech or at least the anti tech for your heroes which will be uh, a great help for you to kill these bosses faster and get uh, this sea land done faster so each sea land have some faction in their enemy like warrior mage and ranger but commonly you have warriors so in order to get sea land done in any faction you need to get the anti-warrior tech maxed or at least above 20 and the normal tech as well so in order to unlock the anti-tech you need to have the normal tech uh, maxed out this is the first one so what bosses and what enemies you will face I'll show you. So this is the Idle Heroes discussion server. This is the main server for the game. So in the Abyss, you will face warriors and priests. So you need to use anti-warrior tech to be ready. And if you can do the anti-priest as well, this will be helpful. Okay, so in the uh, forest, same. We have warriors, rangers, and mages. But you know, Abyss is like tedious to get ready with. You need like tons of tries to do it, but it's doable. You can do it with Delacium. And in Forest, you can do it with Garuda or even Rogan. I, I have done it with Rogan. And in the Fortress, you have also warriors and mage. So the common thing between all factions is warrior. So you need your anti-warrior tech to be maxed with a priest as well. If you can't do the priest, then yeah, warrior tech. Warrior, as you can see here, warrior. So tech is a great support for you, especially if you don't need like minimal with like three stars as a support or as a stun. So the main idea to get any sea lamp done is to have a main damage dealer and imprint him to even get more damage to this damage dealer to give him more abilities to enhance him to give him more damage more uh, more hp this is the whole point okay so let's go back to the game all right as you can see here we have some heroes to clear each sea land so in the shadow you can clear sea land using Eloise is really really minimal. You can do it with even a solo Eloise. She can do it for you Even with no imprints She can do it with some support You can use a as minimal as possible you can use ice trolls For their ability to stun she, they can freeze the enemy for you. So you can use like ice trolls with uh, with uh, energy artifacts you can also use uh what else you can you can even use like this guy this war he is amazing he can give some burn or even you can use walter to stun okay and poison you can do it with anyone you can i think you can do it with tex you can do sea land with tex I never tried it, but I think it's possible he can do like tons of damage, but I, I never seen anyone do it with Dex before, so I don't know. It's like, well, she's like a one target focused, so yeah, I never seen one do it with Ithaca before, but yeah, so minimal as possible. E5, um, Eloise with Ice Trolls or any stun or burn heroes, she can clear it for you easy so eloise build is she will be hp enables she will be tanky you can give her like one node of attack like you can give her like lethal fight back but i, I always leave her like this you can even try res resilience 
So if you get stunned, switch it back to CC Purify. And Bending Well is a must, so she can survive more. Her build is a crown, a splendid crown is even better. You know, attack block or attack HP works. You can run her with even uh, normal class gear or even six star gear. She can clear it anyway. Imprints, you can get V4 or V1 or even no Vs at all. With some support, she can clear it for you. All right. Fortress. We got like uh, tons of heroes here who can clear it. I cleared it with Penny. You can also clear it with uh, Inosuke. Sherlock, uh, not so much. I've seen Barry doing it in a video with Sherlock. He, I, he did it, but it took like forever. So, your main damage dealer in Fortress is going to be Penny or Inosuke. Both are um, aggressive builds. So, full on attack, full on twos, like 2 2 2 2 for enables. You can run her with Punisher, Inosuke as well, same thing, V4s. And you're going to need like um, ton if your RNG is perfect. You can also use for stuns. You can use Valentino, and yeah, you can use some support like almost for healing. But you know, main damage dealer a stun hero. This is how it works in all C lines. So you're going to use Penny or Inosuke V4 full aggressive build with um, like five. Of these uh, fire fists with energy for a stun. Seal and for just stun. Okay. All right. So this one is a best. So a best also can be done with any damage dealers. I have done it with um, Delisium. You can do it also with Morax or even um, the new kid in block Waldeck. Yeah, before Waldeck can clear it as well. So, what else we can use here? We can also use um, Ignis for healing. You can use Margaret for um, poison or stun. Yeah, she can stun. And I didn't use three stars, but I don't know. I don't know if any of these three stars are useful, but you can use Margaret for stunning. And you can use Cruz for support as well. You can use. I did it with only Delisium and um, Ignis. Yeah, I did it with Delisium and Ignis. But you can use Delisium with Cruz and Nakia and uh, you know any other support or stunning heroes like Margaret or even um, Karim and Kathuga. Any of these guys can help you push forward in the abyss sea land but your main damage dealer is going to be delisium for the aggressive build 2 2 2 2 2 with a punisher of immortal class gear or above and uh, yeah you can get it done for you morax as well morax is like the male version of penny he he will just nuke your enemy team with his cannon if he is v4 he will do it even faster so yeah wall deck is going to bleed them to death and he's going to use his blood frenzy yeah, any of these guys can do it fast for you so fully aggressive belt on delisium morax or waldeck with ignis or with his cruise or even an nakia or kathuga and margaret for stun you can get it done in no time in fort in forest i have done it with rogan so rogan can clear it for you but you can also clear it Easily with an E5 Garuda, fully aggressive belt as well. <laughs> what we can use here, not much. We can use like Flora for shrinking your enemies. We can use like um, like other heroes can help you. We can use um, sorry Olivia for uh, shrinking. We can use Flora. We can use even uh, Twine Hero like. Um, Oberon, he can be really useful, like multiple Oberons can just freeze your enemy forever, they can find them. And uh, you can use any tank like Gru or even... I used uh, Siaho uh, in my uh, Sealand Cleave and a Heart Watcher. So you have tons of choices here. 
you can use like five star roses they can help you okay they are amazing support you can even use a Vesa for support she can uh, keep healing you the normal Vesa yes doable so Garuda or Rogan fully aggressive build and you need CC purify in forest with um, either a Punisher or even a case of ghost or even an AMB any splendid artifact or any upgraded artifact can do it for you some support would be great like Rosa heart watcher Olivia sea land forest done in the dark faction yeah this is easy one as well so you can do it with any hero anyone can do it for you Aspen um, Carrie Drake even Eamon Ra I think can do it anybody can do it you need a main damage dealer then you're going to need like multiple Eamon Ra's so she can just drain your enemies she can petrify your enemies and then the main damage dealer will just nuke everybody like carry i i've done it with drake but carry can do it aspen can do it easily and even emonra can do it but we will just keep emonra for support so emonra with uh with some uh, artifact damage reduction or energy i don't really remember sorry guys but i think it's damage reduction all right so damage dealer energy drain you can even use baby carries to do it she can energy steal everybody and she will just leave the devouring mark on everyone she will be amazing so damage dealer baby carries or even baby Ross. clear easy last one is light sea land woo okay so who can do it for you here so russell is your main go-to in, uh, in uh, light sea land so russell can do it easy okay the right build fully aggressive build and with some support you need some stunning heroes all right who can stun here yeah you holy boy holy kid whatever the same thing so he can stun for two rounds you need five holy boys five holy kids with energy and the michelle or even you can use michelle's as as long as you can she can stun too what if you don't have both well divine spirit can be useful as well he can stun so yeah any of these guys can stun so you need a stun hero you can use like five holy kids five michelles or like three three uh three two sorry you can even use uh divine spirit as if you don't have like enough of these guys you can use divine spirit to fill in the, the extra space you can even use um like one or uh one uh Bellerin or um andrea for uh, you know healing and support your main Damage dealer is going to be Russell for the aggressive build, for the aggressive stone and artifact, like Punisher, like um, I don't know, uh, Antlers, like AMB, whatever artifact, whatever aggressive artifact you have, you can put it on him. V4 the guy, give him some stunners, and he can nuke Sea Land Light for you. All right. So, what happens when you like unlock all of them? Well. When you unlock all of them, this will affect your Gate of the Void stats, okay? When you go to the Void Temple and you go to the uh, Sea Land, so every Sea Land you will get to 20, you will get like 30 damage, 30% 30 damage in the Gate of the Void against opponents. So when you finish Light, you will get 30 damage, 30% 30 damage against Void, uh, Dark Void opponents. Dark, so Light will go against Dark, Transcendence will go against Transcendence, Dark will go against Light, and the list goes on. So, when you finish all Sea Land, you will uh, be able to accumulate more uh, resources in the Gate of the Void faster and easier, and everybody is gonna be happy. So, yeah, great. So, you unlocked Sea Lands. What then? Well, you can go and you will find that there are like 30 now. So uh, good luck, but 
beyond CLN20, you need a Transcendence Hero. Like for example, I have um, in the forest, we have Vesa, but I don't have Vesa right now. So I, I'll show you. So when you get to, to like CLN21, then you will unlock your um, Transcendence Hero in each faction. So Shia is a fortress so when you get to seal and 21 you can unlock your shia and start you know fighting in the 21 plus meta which is like late game thing so good luck with that and this will be it uh, guys for me so you need like your anti-warrior tech as a priority priest as well as a second one mage and any other one so good luck with you sea lands and if you need any help guys just comment down below subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys later have a great one